Pero lo que no me entienden, chicos, es que yo no entre, yo soy de las que me muero en la línea. Y ayer lo decía así. Dije, no me voy a, no me voy a bajar. Tenía ganas de tirar los guantes y bajarme porque no entendía qué era lo que pasaba cuando ella me pegaba. Porque hasta en los brazos, cuando yo detenía los golpes, sentía como si fuera un palo. Against the Roots Podcast. There was some interesting stuff, man. We, I know we mentioned Deontay Wilder earlier. And there was some interesting stuff that happened in Mexico. Mm. La Barbie Juarez against La Cobrita Luna. So this was a, okay. a title fight as well. So Luna won. She was a younger fighter. As she was giving her post-fight interview, as you guys see the images here on your screen, mm -hmm. La Barbie Juarez interrupts and accuses her of having something in her gloves. No. Are you serious? She mm. accuses her. She, she says, uh, you know, the, the BS stuff that everyone says, I don't want to take credit away from you, but um, she has something in her gloves, hand wraps or something. She says, I've been boxing for a long time. I know what I'm feeling right now, and that wasn't normal. What? She said she wanted to quit what? during the fight, but but her heart kept her in the fight. And, and this young girl... Luna, she was kind of like shocked. And I think before before the interview, um, mm. I think uh, La Barbie Juarez had told the commissioner something, the ref, and they, were, they took uh, her opponent's gloves and, and her hand wraps and they were kind of checking her and she kind of started crying because she was just like, what the hell, I just beat you? Like, why are you accusing me of, of all this stuff? And mm -hmm. La Barbie Juarez had her face kind of uh, bruised up mm -hmm. and... Uh, But yeah, they took the gloves and the hand wraps and I don't think they found anything. But everyone was kind of um, pissed off about that because she had just got beat and beat pretty good. And she was accusing her opponent of mm -hmm. tampering with her gloves and Damn. or hand wraps. And her <clears throat> face was bruised. But I mean, I don't know. That, that, that was crazy. I mean, like on the spot. I don't know. That was interesting. I mean, I, I in a way, like if, you, if there's like suspicion of cheating and you think there's like they're tampering with the gloves that's something that maybe you do have to like get at that moment because they're gonna yeah. go away and then that's evidence and it's gone and yeah you know we did talk we've had some of this we've talked about this with shay mosley and we've had um i saw the ring director uh eric drath uh we talked about this and if if, if nasim richardson does not go for those gloves and then he would have yeah. got away with it and you know they, they were able to collect that and then um and even people talked about the gervonta gloves yeah, that he gloves. switched out um yeah. before the fight mm -hmm. which i don't i don't know i think the, the that was an interesting point yeah but uh to me if the commission signs it off you would think that everything is yeah. legit right mm -hmm. um we we talked with the director and producer of assault in the ring mr eric drath when we had him on the podcast and we talked about these things how there's different Um, rules in place now mm -hmm. that kind of make it harder for you to get away with those type of things yeah. so i don't know man to accuse somebody of that i feel like you gotta have concrete evidence no pun intended <laughs> i just got it <laughs> <laughs> i don't think there was any evidence in this case other than saying oh look my face is swollen or bruised yeah. up um so i don't know it was crazy because um Her opponent, La Cobrita, was kind of tearing up at the end. That's... Like, saying, like, what the hell? Like, I don't deserve you... this and this and that. But, yeah. I mean, yeah, that was crazy. That yeah. was crazy. To me, like, if you're going to accuse somebody, you know, also have, like, you know, the character to apologize when the things come out if you were wrong. Yeah. So she kind of, like, ruined her moment. You And know, you can ruin was... her, her reputation, too. Yeah. Like, I can understand, like, the... uh In the case of Louis Resto, yeah. like Billy Collins Jr., his father actually pointed out the gloves and told the referee, like, hey, there's something wrong with this, right? Mm -hmm. But in this case, she interrupted the whole interview and accused her in front of everybody, right? Even after telling the commission and all that. So I think that was a little extra, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be an ongoing in investigation. As far yeah. as I know, they didn't find anything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was, that was crazy. Yeah.